Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. You ever wonder what those red and yellow colors are in the timeline? Well, we're going to look at red and yellow colors on the timeline. All right, well, there's actually four colors. There's red, yellow, there's green, and then there's none. And too many people get hung up on an exact meaning for this. What you should take away from this is, what do the red and yellow mean? This, is, this should be your answer. Huh? Because it's like, huh? it's a very loose understanding. Some really powerful computers can play back a red timeline in real time. Some slow computers can't even play back a yellow timeline. So it's a very general guideline. It doesn't mean red has to be um, rendered. No matter what the color is on the timeline, exporting out will render out. So the timeline could be full of 8K giant files with massive effects on an Ultrabook. Your output is still going to render fine. Might take a while, but it's, it's more about playback. So I'm gonna show you all of the different instances when the, the timeline will be colored red or yellow or green or nothing. Let's have a look. So let's look at this first clip, which is just a straight uh, 2997 HD clip playing back. And, it's, and you can see it's yellow, but it's playing back. And to help in playback in the little wrench, I'm going to turn on the show dropped frames indicator right over here. When you mouse over this, it'll tell you if you've dropped any frames. So if we go back here and hit play, you can see it stays green and we're not dropping any frames. Hmm, not bad, even though it's yellow. I created another sequence that's 24 frames a second with the same 2997 clip in it. Hit play and it plays back. Okay, so that should be your first indication that everything is fine. Now let's go look over here at the Lumetri effect. And if we go to our effects, and if we look at the Lumetri effect, you'll notice that it is accelerated. So I've dropped a Lumetri effect on here. You can see it changes the color. You can see it's playing back without dropping any frames. Let's go into the file menu, project settings, general. And if I turn off GPU acceleration, so I only use software, click OK. Now you'll see the line is red. And when I hit play, we're definitely going to drop frames. There we go. We dropped some frames. So what happened when I turned off GPU acceleration is the Lumetri effect is now asking for the CPU to do all the work. So the CPU is running the operating system. It's running Premiere Pro. It's decoding this video. This is a highly compressed video that it has to decode and recreate all these frames on the fly and do the color correction. That's why the GPU is helpful because you send the color correction, the Lumetri uh, accelerated effect to the GPU. The GPU and the CPU work in, uh, hand in hand. If I render this, so if I go to sequence and render into out, you'll notice that it's going to render this for me. I'll speed this up for you. So now we have a green timeline. The green light stays green. We're not dropping any frames. We've rendered this. So if we go into the sequence settings, you'll see down at the bottom, there are video preview formats in here. So we've just generated a 1920 by 1080 preview format, and that format was saved in Premiere Pro. That's what it's reading back. It no longer has to calculate this. It's just sending the frames out as they go. Let's go turn on GPU acceleration. Let's turn that back on. Click OK. And it's still going to play back the green because nothing has changed. We haven't changed any of the effect. As soon as we make a change to this effect, now we're back to yellow. 
I've also got an adjustment layer on here with two different blurs. And the blurs that I'm using, one is a camera blur with no GPU acceleration. The other is the G directional blur that has acceleration. So if I turn on directional blur and play that back, you can see it plays back just fine. Turn on the camera blur. Wow, now it's red. We're going to drop frames like crazy. Or not. There we go. So now we're dropping frames. It's just too much to handle. Again, we could render that out, but this is the difference between a GPU accelerated effect and a non-GPU accelerated effect. Both will look exactly the same when you export out, so don't worry about that. Now let's go look at DVC Pro HD media. And you'll notice that we get no timeline, no colors in the timeline, and no frames dropped. So two formats, the DVC Pro uh, format and DV footage, which is like the old ass SD crappy footage that no one shoots anymore, those will never show up as a, a color. They, they just show up as gray and they just play. Those are the only natural media. And the DVC Pro media, uh, think of that as a if you have a Panasonic P2 camera, you should be able to drop the stuff in the timeline, hit play, and not have to render anything out. Now, there are all, also other situations where you will not know you have to render to see something. For instance, if we go to the morph cut, the morph cut setting here needs to be rendered to be seen. And the morph cut transition, which I've got a tutorial for, will be different if we have CPU or GPU. And you'll notice that they stay red CPU or GPU. So if, if I set it in and out point in here and render that, you'll see those lines, you'll see that full section now is rendered and the effect works perfectly. So the morph cut transition has to be rendered and it's a different rendering from software in GPU, GPU, CPU, different. I think the best for this is the uh, software render. Okay, another one is optical flow. Here we've got some footage and we wanna slow this down. So I'm just gonna chop this right here to there. And I'm gonna slow this down. So I'll go to my speed setting slow it to 25% and choose optical flow. When I click OK, you'll see the red line show up and you'll see it play back at slow motion. And you'll see we're dropping a ton of frames here. Let's go and turn on our GPU acceleration. And you might think that this is optical flow because you turned on optical flow. Well, you didn't. I mean, you did, but optical flow has to be rendered. It cannot play back. So we now have to render this, render in and out. I'll speed this up for you. Now let's play that back. You can see it's green. And now we're using optical flow. And that worked pretty darn good on this shot here because there's no occlusion going on. All right, another area is adding transition. So if I've got this set in here and we add a transition, a transition does not have to be rendered even though it stays as yellow. Unless, as I said, it's the morph cut transition, which is more an effect and not so much a transition. Anytime that you start to add blend modes to this, so if we take this top clip, 
and change the blend mode, you can see it's still yellow, but we did not have to render that out. All right, so there's my, hey, is it yellow, red, hey, can I play back, hey? I mean, who cares, just play. If you can play it back, play it back. If you need to render, render. The yellow and, and red are incredibly loose guidelines. They don't mean an exact thing. All right. If you found this informative, you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment to subscribe. If you want to support us a little more, we're making it really, really easy with a link on the front of the channel for a PayPal donation, either one time or reoccurring, as little as a dollar a month. You can also use credit card or debit card. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking the best.